going to talk about uh, turbo machinery and this particular presentation is going to be a very high level of uh, uh, description or uh, talking about the turbo machinery and uh, you, you can consider it as a bird's eye view and uh, what is uh, turbo machinery basically what how do you how do you define it and uh, pretty some classifications and uh, give some examples and uh, some examples we'll be uh, seeing uh, about a uh, little bit more details about the uh, steam turbines and the gas turbines okay so um, i hope uh, you, all the participants are from uh, either mechanical engineering or you could be from uh, aeronautical engineering industrial production engineering and other uh, related uh, either diploma also and um, and towards the end of the session we will see uh, what kind of uh, roles or jobs you can uh, you know uh, look for in the place uh, market uh, especially during this pandemic situation and uh, we will see some of uh, since i'm will be talking a little about designing of these uh, turbo machinery uh, devices or machines so we will see because in today's world you have to have some sort of a code or a software which will solve your day to day problems in terms of design um, strictly speaking uh, fea and uh, cfd uh, you know, FEA is for finite element analysis and CFP computation fluid dynamics, uh, especially the softwares like ANSYS. Or we will we'll talk about those uh, examples towards the end of the uh, end of this uh, particular presentation of the webinar. So, very I'd not stop in more words about the definition of a turbo machinery. Basically, turbo machinery is a machine which exchanges okay you either give into or take the energy uh, from the flowing fluid onto the moving blades obviously which are attached to a rotor uh, and then uh, the kinetic energy which is present in the working fluid is uh, extracted and uh, mechanically converted into mechanical energy so basically simply speaking a machine which exchanges energy with the working fluid okay fluid could be a gas or liquid okay uh, and the, the kinetic energy is used in working fluid to you know convert to mechanical energy which is nothing but the fluid flows over the turbine blades and that particular thing is converted into a, a mechanical work this is the uh, broad definition of a uh, turbo machinery okay examples include air for aircraft engines and wind turbines we will like, get to know more about uh, the turbo machinery examples and working principles in the in the uh, coming slides uh, okay so uh, turbo machine okay this is a simple ma machine which, which which exchanges information G gives energy or takes energy takes energy from a working fluid uh, uh working fluid onto the moving blades uh, due to which the bl uh, the blades are attached to a rotor and the rotor uh, rotates and that is used for mechanical energy purposes okay uh, we'll see types of classification how, how many uh, different ways of we can classify the uh, turbo machinery uh, machines or devices based on the energy transfer or mode of uh, transfer to the energy okay uh, I, as i was giving the um, uh, definition of the turbo machinery i said exchange of energy or um what you call power producing or power consuming if a machine is producing a power uh which is uh, like extracting energy from the working fluid and converting it to a mechanical energy that is known as a turbine uh, which includes steam turbine gas turbine or uh, hydraulic turbines or so on and so forth and power consuming you you use the power to, to you use the power uh from a machine onto a fluid okay to raise the pressure head or decrease it or something like that so if a device delivers energy to the fluid then they are called as uh, examples are the pumps compressors blowers and fans okay you uh, you use up energy from a machine to uh, onto the fluid Okay, 
so based on the working uh, working medium okay working fluids okay then uh, fluid like uh, water okay when you uh, use pumps basically is the simple examples of a pump is like you in a daily household needs okay you you have a water at the ground level and you want to pump it to the uh, the top of the building then you use a pump uh, to uh, for, you know pull the water onto the tank and at the uh, top of the building and then we have hydraulic turbines and working with gases okay if you, if you see steam turbine and the gas turbine they are basically using gases only uh, in steam turbine nothing but you will be using steam and uh, with the gas turbines you have other uh, you use so you can use normal gas like air and other hydrogen or methane <coughs> Now uh, for a gas turbine, <clears throat> okay. If you have any doubts, you can just uh, uh, you know uh, shoot it in the chat the window, and uh, uh, Roshan will take it to me. And uh, based upon the type of the flow, type of the flow is incompressible or compressible. All the gases are compressible, uh, you know, fluids and incompressible like water. Uh, they are uh, in, in the process. and then we have a uh, direction of the flow okay uh, flow of the fluid okay fluid and uh, in certain cases what happens is uh, the fluid is traveling in parallel to the axis of the rotation of the uh, machine or the device then it is known as action flow and if the fluid is entering into the machine and it is diverted 90 degrees from the axis of the rotation of the shaft, uh, shaft, uh, it is uh, considered as the uh, radial, uh, radial flow. Uh, radial flow. To give you an example, uh, axis machine, you can see uh, the uh, diagram where uh, you can see a uh, small arrows black uh, black line and arrows is the direction of the flow of the uh, the gas okay so if you if you observe at the top and the bottom of the shaft you have some hatched lines one rectangle without hatch another rectangle with the hatch okay these uh, one rectangle without hatch and a, a rectangle with hatch is a one single stage of a uh, what do you call, call a compressor or a turbine let us call it as a turbine okay so uh, the hatched blade which is attached to the rotor is a moving blade and the one without hatch is a stationary blade okay so uh, the the flow is from uh, anyways we can talk about the stationary blades and the rotating blades in the coming slides uh, but here I want I want you to I want to demonstrate that only the uh, the passage of the gases are in case of a steam in the steam turbine it is a steam it is access, uh, parallel to the axis of the rotation of the hub. If you see the dotted line in or the center line in the center of the diagram, uh, then that that is the axis. And if you see a black uh, uh, arrow here, and uh, that uh, that is the direction of the flow of the fluid so uh, in this case it is parallel to the axis of the rotation so uh, the direction of the fluid in this case a gas flows in actual direction to the machine action or axial or parallel to the axis of the rotation of the rotor of the machine so this is defined as the uh, actual flow uh, uh, in a uh, turbine so uh, you can see another example of the actual action flow okay so this is uh, we call it as a uh, axial compressor okay so again uh, the attached the shaft uh, is shown in the uh, white color and the the dotted and the dashed dotted and dashed line passing through the center of the shaft is the axis of the rotation and again in this case also we have uh, yeah, impeller blades and the stationary blades Stationary blades are the blades which are attached to the casing, and uh, the impeller blades are attached to the rotor. So, stationary blades they remain stationary; they don't uh, they don't rotate. And impeller blades which are attached to the shaft they are rotated. Again, 
Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that uh, if you see the arrows on the left side of uh, just into or upper of the shaft and the bottom of the shaft, you can see the direction of the flow. But uh, it is again in the axial flow direction, axial flow direction. And uh, okay, this, if you see, uh, now you can see again there is a dotted, uh, dotted and dashed line on on the shaft at the bottom of the diagram, and. Uh, uh, you have the the, the, the black line and uh, the arrow mark at the, the top of this between top of the screen. This is the flow of the direction. Okay, uh, the entry is some kind of actual actual uh, entry, but that is converted into uh, a radial flow, or which is which is converted into ninety degrees to the actual of rotation. So, which is actually we generally call it a centrifugal uh, centrifugal pump uh, we have an impeller the impeller rotates uh, the, the shaft is attached to the uh, motor motor rotates the impeller the impeller diverts the uh, the incoming uh, fluid to the 90 degrees from the axis of the rotation which is radial flow okay here the path of the fluid flow or the gases is radial or 90 degrees to the axis of the rotation of the shaft so in the radial flow uh, compressor or you can uh, pump also can be uh, in the radial flow direction. To give you some sort of an example, so the impeller is the main uh, part at the front of, you can say, important part of, of the uh, a turbo machinery uh, uh, machine or a device. Okay, but to the left side, you will see uh, it's some open type. When the difference between the open type and the, the extreme right side, it is a closed type. You see, the right side the closed type uh, uh, impeller, it, it is a see-through. If you, if, you, if you do it in a CAD uh, environment, you can see through. Okay, you can the blades which are attached to the rotor are inside the ear. Uh, so, so the top portion and the bottom, bottom portion, in, in case we can, we can call it a hub and shroud, uh, which are uh, uh, closed. Okay. So the uh, fluid or uh, the um, working fluid, okay, water or uh, gas, whatever it goes in the center and comes out uh, in the radial uh, direction. Okay, this is about a little about the turbo masonry uh, part. So basically, turbo masonry is nothing but which exchanges information, sorry, which exchanges uh, energy from a working uh, fluid onto the blades of a rotary shaft and uh, converts into um, basically kinetic energy is converted into mechanical energy uh, using this process. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, about uh, the uh, high level description of the turbo machinery. Uh, we will have another, uh, I mean, uh, we'll go to the next slide. Uh, Roshan, we'll go to the next slide, please. Okay. Another set of examples that we have uh, discussed, or which are part of the uh, turbo machinery, are mainly steam turbines and gas turbines. Most of the uh, steam turbines or gas turbines, they are used. Um, steam turbines are used for producing electricity. Uh, I mean, the shaft output is uh, is used by the generator to generate electricity and. Uh, uh, you know, it could be somewhere around 100 kilowatt or it could be 200, 300, 400 uh, megawatt uh, steam turbines can be. Uh, I think, I don't think there are so many, but 200, 300 megawatt steam turbines can also be uh, used for generating electricity. Gas turbines, you can use it for various uh, applications, uh, including, uh, you know, generating electricity and uh, other types are um, uh, gas turbines used are uh, your jet engine. Uh, if you if you see an airplane, uh, the, there are two engines or four engines attached uh, to the wings of the uh, plane. Uh, those are nothing but, uh, although they call it as jet engine, they are primarily they are called as uh, gas turbines. Okay, so the jet propulsion or jet engines is type of a gas turbine, and industrial gas turbine is used for uh, uh, generate electricity or also called gas turbines. Apart from this, steam turbines and gas turbines can be used for various other applications to drive something. Um, you some other examples also. Okay, uh, I, as I said, we will be discussing something about the steam turbine and the gas turbine. Uh, gas turbines. 
uh, let us take up the steam turbine plant you can see the diagram okay first let me let us depict the diagram first and then we will see the cycle uh, or the thermodynamic uh, cycle used to for analyzing the uh, complete uh, power plant uh, systems okay please before you design you will have to come up with such diagrams uh, then only you can go for uh, very detailed design like uh, geometry and then glasses and uh, auxiliaries and uh, everything so um, if you see there are some there are some numbers okay one at the extreme bottom side to see one uh, one which is uh, from condenser to uh, a boiler and between one and two i mean between condenser and boiler we have a pump so between point one and two we have a pump okay pump basically pumps water onto the boiler and from boiler the uh, steam goes to the uh, point three and uh, point three or as you can see the turbine where the exp expansion takes place and from turbine after the work is done it is again sent the condenser to condense the uh, steam Okay, this is a shaft output. You can see a thick black line which is connected to the uh, alternator. Okay, that is where actually the electricity uh, generates. So electricity generates is not part of this uh, uh, this particular uh, webinar. So I'm not going to touch for that. Okay, so basically um, the from the condenser uh, you will get um, you pump in the water into the uh, into the boiler. And in the boiler, there is a combustion process where uh, uh, there is there is there is a heat uh, produced, and then the pump, uh, the water which is pumped into the boiler is converted into steam. Uh, and uh, there are about uh, other flue gases as well. And the steam is passed to the turbine in the high pressure. So then, uh, using the high pressure, the working fluid which is steam and uh, um, it could be something uh, anywhere between uh, 4, 300 or 400 or 550 degrees centigrade uh, steam, uh, steam also is passed through this uh, turbine and uh, generally we call it as a uh, bar 165 bar or 170 bar is the highest that you can uh, high pressure can be used to use it with high velocity gas and uh, there will be a governing system uh, which will uh, govern the steam into the uh, steam, uh, steam turbine where the expansion takes place according to the number of stations, uh, sorry, number of stages. There is a pressure drop and velocity drop across the stages. And then after uh, the work is done and uh, the exhaust at the point uh, four could be like uh, ambient uh, conditions like one bar and uh, somewhere around 25, 30 degrees centigrade uh, uh, temperature uh, gases come, on and, uh, come out. And then it is uh, condensed. Uh, if it is a high temperature, it is condensed. If it is a low, low temperature, it can be left to exhaust also, yeah, and the uh, atmosphere also. Okay, this is about a simple gas turbine. 